Bonjour and welcome back. My name is Aaron and this is Kingfisher Games. I know it's been a while since I posted a video, but I'm um, now in a, in a work-life balance where time allows for me to hop back into the hobby and creating some videos. So without further ado, let's hop into the next game, which is Similo Wild Animals. Uh, this is from Horrible Guild and it's for ages seven plus, two, to, two or more players, and takes about 10 minutes to play. Uh, so join me at the table and let's learn how to play. Similo Wild Animals is a cooperative game where all players work together to identify the secret character using a series of clues. Choose or randomly select one player to be the clue giver. The other players will be the guessers. Clue giver shuffles the deck and places it face down on the table. Then, the clue giver must draw one card and secretly look at it. This will be the secret character that must be found by the guessers. Draw 11 more cards and shuffle the secret character with them. Place the 12 characters on a 4x3 grid. Finally, the clue giver draws five more cards. This will be their starting hand of clues. The clue giver looks at their hand of five cards and tries to find one that either is similar to the first card that they uh, picked or choose a card that is not, that is different than the initial animal. So in our example, we're looking to give clues for a rhinoceros. So maybe we'll play the bat uh, horizontally, indicating to the guessers that our animal is not like a bat. If on the other chance we wanted to say that our animal was like a bat, we would put it vertically, uh, showing that it is the same way. But in our example, we'll say our animal is not like a bat. So the guessers eliminate one card on their first chance, reducing the size of the grid. On the next card, we happen to draw elephant. So we'll say that our animal is like the elephant. Now in the second round, the guessers eliminate two cards. So we'll say, take out these two. And then on the third clue, they will get a third card and Again, three cards get removed. On the fourth card, they will get four cards removed until they are left with only two animals remaining. After that fifth clue is down, the guessers have to choose one more card to be eliminated leaving the final answer maybe they'll look at the rhinoceros and think it is like a lion and an elephant because it's in africa and so they decide to get rid of the walrus if the last card remaining happens to be the first card that the guesser picked the guessers uh, everybody wins the guessers are encouraged to read and while well, the clue giver is encouraged to read um the flavor text that's on the side here uh, gives certain information about the habitat, the diet, uh, certain characteristics of the animal. So all this information is open for the guessers to read as well as the clue giver while they're uh, reading the initial card and then giving their clues. Uh, you'll find out how your team works, whether they look at the background, if the backgrounds happen to match, or if all the clues that are uh, similar to it or face up a certain way or we're, we put the uh, we put two birds down in this one or a bat and the macaw down uh, saying that it's not but we did say toucan was hopefully that helps them out and doesn't hurt the team and that's pretty much how a round of similar wild animals is played join me back up top for some final thoughts and that's how you play uh, similar wild animals. Um, I really like this game. It's quick. It gets to the table pretty often. Um, 
the box is kind of getting some wear and tear already, but um, I brought this to a local men's shed group that I'm a part of, and uh, none of the guys had played a game like this before, and they picked it up, and we played to do four or five rounds um, in about an hour. And uh, they understood how to be the clue giver. They understood the guesses. Um, they had a lot of fun in either role. And yeah, this game hits the table at home quite often as well. And um, yeah, I just can't say how much uh, we like Similo Wild Animals and there's more games in the series. So check back with us later and oh, I think you can hear the dog growling, so I think that's it for today. Miigwech, gigawabmen minawa.